17 years old, youth Olympic champion. 19 years old, European bronze medalist. 19 years old, Olympic silver medalist. 20 years old, European champion. 20 years old, junior world champion. Cleaned 246 kilos, equal to the most weight any non-super heavyweight has cleaned in over two decades. 21 years old, world champion. 22 years old, European champion. Six days after this training session, 22 years old, world champion, again. Like the 59s for the women, and uh, yeah, and then the 73s will be amazing. When Norik Vardanian, once in the Armenian national team, told me about his and his teammates' first impressions of a 14-year-old Simon Martirosian, he told me that no one could quite believe the size and strength of this boy. At 14 years of age, he could already hold his own with many of the strongest on the national team and was just about as aggressive as anyone they had ever trained with. Five years later, he took the silver medal at the Olympics as a teenager, and two years after that would finally become a world champion and a world record holder. This is the first session from Simon Martirosian at the 2019 World Championships. He and the rest of the team arrived late, six days after most other teams had arrived. And I was just heading out to film the 67 kilo session after spending a full day filming Lasher, Team China, Mezzo, Ilya, Fernando Reis and many others, when the Armenian team finally turned up at 8pm. More than anything, Simon is known for his brute strength. Over someone like Lu Jajun, who's well known for his flawless technique, or Andreev Bozida for his speed. Videos of Simon hitting absolutely insane training lifts from an understated basement in Armenia began emerging over the last year. A set of four in the hang snatch at 180 kilos, 92% of the world record. A 210 kilo power clean. A complex of three cleans, three front squats, and a jerk at 200 kilos. And perhaps most impressively, a 210 kilo hang snatch, 107% of the world record. This initial training session is more of a get loose and prep for some heavier lifting over the next few days type of session. The second session in this video, however, shows a much heavier day from Simon snatching 90% for reps and jerking heavy too. I've also included the footage that I shot from the media area of the most exciting snatch session, potentially in decades of weightlifting, a session that ultimately Simon would come out of on top. He jumped from 70 to 160. One of the things that I love most about Simon are his outlandish jumps. 70 kilos to 160 kilos in the back squat, or 120 kilos to 160 kilos in the snatch. In fact, three days after this session, I watched him total 380 kilos in just five lifts. As in, five single lifts. He, he came into the training hall, he touched the barbell five times, and he walked away with a 380 kilo total. And I think the reason he did this honestly was because Andre Romina had just turned up to the training hall and was opposite him and it was the first time those two had interacted at this World Championship. So I'll, I'll do a video of that training session and put it up in a, in a few weeks time for you guys to see.
Armenia really has a very strong squad these days. You can see around him we've got world champion Hakob Makrichian, European champion Andranik Karapetian, Olympic silver medalist Gorman Asian, and the world medalist Ruben Alexian. In fact, I've uploaded the entirety of this session to Patreon as a thank you because it is the, the Weightlifting House patrons who help get me to these comps. I'll put a link down below, but it's uh, a video that's a little bit too long for a, a usual YouTube video. This press from chair is a bit of a classic from Marty Washington's accessory list. And I, I also couldn't help but just include him sinking this can in the middle of his jumps like absolutely nothing. Doing some jumps is something pretty standard of him and the entire Armenian team. Two days later, Simon went heavier in the snatch. He hit 180 kilos three times and then went on to jerk 210 kilos out of the rack. A lift that I, I barely caught on camera because Lasher was opposite him snatching 200 kilos at the time in a 200-230 kilo kind of session. By this point he attempted to hit a new world record in the snatching competition twice missing 197 kilos at the 2018 World Championships and at the 2019 European Championships. His strength was there every time, but he just never landed it. And then, as though perfectly choreographed, written in weightlifting heaven, this happened. Now, I've been able to sit and watch a lot of weightlifting sessions, and I have seen some absolutely incredible lifts, but to see this happen, you know, 15 yards in front of me was just one of the most remarkable things I've ever been able to see. Yang Zi and Andre Romnau are the only two 109s in the world to have outsnatched Simon. Yang Zi beat him by a kilo at the 2018 Worlds with 196 kilos and had similarly missed 197 kilos before. And Andre Romnau, 10 years prior, had snatched 200 kilos, aged 20, at the 2008 Olympics in the old 105 kilo class, though his current abilities had been kept pretty well hidden. And this was about as sensational a three and a half minutes of weightlifting as you could ever ask for. <laughs> now China can only take four men to the Olympics and they're gonna take the four men who are guaranteed gold. So Yang Zi is almost certainly not gonna be chosen. Belarus on the other hand are only able to take one man because of the multiple uh, doping sanctions that they've incurred and so there's a very good chance that Andre Romnau also might not make it to the Olympics which means that for Simon Martirosian his chances at the gold are incredibly high. Wow. A tentative 190 opener ends in an awesome 199. Though realistically I don't think anyone else really ever stood a chance. That was great.